Ligu may not be the first manufacturer name when you think of smartphones, but the company has produced some solid, super cheap devices. The M8 model has a 5.7 inches display, decent specs, and a lot more for just below $70 US. My name is Linus, stay tuned for the full review. Just before we start, you will find all the links in the video description if you are interested. In the box, you will find all the usual stuff and some extras include a pair of cheap earphones. Honestly, it's hard to believe that this phone does not even cost $70 US. It is really well made and it uses a high quality metal frame and tactile metal buttons. The phone just feels very solid in the hand. Even though a huge 5.7 inches display has only 720p resolution, it is plenty sharp and vibrant for such a cheap phone. Surprisingly, the display is covered with a Gorilla Glass 4 for scratch resistance. The only complaint is that the screen is slightly reflective outdoors. We have an 8 megapixel selfie shooter on the top. However, there is no LED notification light and I'm not a huge fan of the on-screen navigation keys. The backplate looks kind of nice but it attracts fingerprints quite easily. As for optics, we have a 13 megapixel camera which is coupled with a dual LED flash. The fingerprint scanner may not be the fastest on the market, but it is accurate and it can unlock the phone straight from the standby mode. The loudspeaker is pretty good too. In fact, it is one of the best in this price range. The Ligu M8 does not have the best specs out there, but it still has enough power to handle most of the stuff. We have a quad-core MTK6580 chip, which is clocked at 1.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, and 16 GB of expandable storage. You can't expect much from this phone when it comes to gaming, but I have to say that you will be able to enjoy playing games like Asphalt 8 on the medium graphics without any issues. When it comes to the user interface, the phone ships with a highly customized Freemi OS which is built on top of Android 6.0. The user interface has a ton of features and customization options. Just to name a few, you can change the themes, select from different transition effects or choose from a variety of gesture and motion controls that work pretty well. Most importantly, the phone runs quite smoothly and I didn't have lag even after installing quite a few apps. The image quality is probably the best I've seen on any $70 phone. There is a good amount of detail, the colors look quite nice and in general, the pictures look pretty sharp. There are some other shooting modes like Bokeh, however, the results are not impressive at all. Even the low light photos look okay for the phone this cheap. Also the selfies are quite sharp and they will definitely do the trick for social media needs. So currently I'm shooting in 1080p resolution with the Ligu M8. This is a budget phone that has a pretty good build quality, a metal frame that goes all around the device, tactile buttons. The 1080p video is not really impressive, but you can't have it all for such a low price. When it comes to connectivity, I have no major complaints. The call quality is decent and the Wi-Fi works pretty well. However, the GPS could be slightly more accurate. The phone has a replaceable 3500 mAh battery that performs quite well. I was able to get about 4 or 5 hours of screen on time depending on my usage, which is a pretty good result. To be honest, I didn't expect the Ligu M8 to be this good for the device that does not even cost $70 US. 
it is well made, it has a metal chassis and the phone feels nice in the hand. Also we get a decent 5.7 inches display, decent specs and a pretty good overall performance. Obviously, there are some trade-offs, for example, there is no LED notification light, the display may be a little bit reflective outdoors and the video recording quality could be a little bit better. However, if you consider that this phone produces really good photos for the price and the battery life is pretty good, you can't really go wrong by spending less than 70 bucks, even if there are a few minor shortcomings to consider. It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, please subscribe to the Gizmo China's YouTube channel and visit gizmochina.com for all the latest and greatest Chinese tech news and reviews. See you soon.